At least one in every 12 pregnancies, many expectant mothers are unaware of the existence of preeclampsia, a pregnancy complication that is characterized by high blood pressure. Preeclampsia frequently occurs after 20 weeks of pregnancy but can also occur after delivery. The maternal and prenatal death surveillance and response 2020-2021 shows that preeclampsia is the second leading cause of death among pregnant women in Uganda, accounting for 15% of maternal deaths. I couldn't have gone too far because I ended up having a scissor and the baby being removed out at seven months because of pressure. But maybe if I had the medication in time, like if I could get the, all the medication, maybe I would have gone up to nine months and have my baby in a normal way. So the Ministry of Health has started a 10-day campaign against the disease to advocate for increased awareness of signs and symptoms among women. This would mitigate the raising maternal mortality rates in the country. The public doesn't know the dangers of eclampsia. That this campaign is aiming at raising awareness to all the people of Uganda, especially the women, especially those women who, do, who just believe in witchcraft, who believe in Mayembe, who believe in you know, all these demonic oppressions. That they, actually, that, that is a disease that it can be treated, it can be managed in a hospital, we can prevent complications early, and we can actually look after the baby and the baby can grow even in that condition. The campaign started at Kawain Perifaro Hospital calling for early screening for pregnant women to facilitate timely intervention and proper medication administration. In a month, we have 150 mothers with this condition. Out of those 150, on average 10 have what we call eclampsia or the fits, the severe form of the PET. First of all, Im Im improve ownership of the pregnancy and taking responsibility so that these mothers come early to Antinendo and also getting treated. But there seems to be lack of awareness about the disease, with some medical personnel having insufficient knowledge. We also found that uh, sometimes healthcare workers don't know really how to manage to give the drugs we use to try and uh, uh, manage the disease. Uh, like the one called magnesium sulfate, which is for controlling fits. We also found that uh, there was very little known about this disease outside healthcare workers. The community doesn't know much about it. They confuse it with many things, including witchcraft. Therefore, it is advisable that expectant mothers continue treatment for six weeks post-birth to ensure complete resolution of the condition. Must be checked at six hours checked at six days and checked also at six weeks and those are the three postnatal care visits that we recommend otherwise the, the blood pressure can actually increase when you're in this period that's called postpartum period and uh, and it actually causes you the same features the, the fitting and you're going to uh, uh, eclampsia justin nakami ubc news